Okay, we've been talking about different types of angles and, and big big angles and small angles. Um, what I'm going to do now is introduce triangles. There we go, and there's a nice simple triangle called a right angled right angled triangle. And I guess in some ways it's the simplest uh, simplest triangle or a very simple one. It's got a nice right angle there, uh, and it's got two sides. Uh, 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 at right angles to one another and we've got another side closing the triangle like this. Um, it's a very natural system to consider. It's a nice uh, nice commonly occurring thing. If this is horizontal and this is vertical, two very nice directions for things to be in, then and you're joining a point on here to a point on here, then you've got a right angle triangle straight away. And Lots and lots and lots of triangles that you want to deal with have got a right angle in them. I'm going to say something which is kind of obvious to a lot of people, but not obvious to everyone. And it's this. When I draw a right angle triangle, I might draw a sort of tall, thin one or a very short, fat one like that. They're all right angles. You'll notice that when I... not drawing it very well. But when I draw my triangles, I always draw them with the right angle in the lower right corner like that and I call this standard form standard form so there's a whole bunch of questions which I'm sure you'll uh, you'll either be struggling with now or, or, or be given in the future which give you some kind of triangle and tell you to work at the sides or calculate the angles or something like that the first step in any of those questions if you get a triangle like that it's supposed to be a right angle triangle straight away as soon as you see it flip it over to standard form okay if you get a right angle triangle that looks like that straight away flip it over turn it into a right angle triangle like that if it's like that you of course you don't do anything because it's already in standard form what happens if it's uh, like this if it's going down there like that well straight away you'll you won't flip it exactly this is kind of a mirror image because what you've got to do is bring that point there and reflect it around this kind of axis here what does it look like it looks like that and that doesn't matter even if it's like that it could be a tall thin one again i'm drawing it as if i'm turning it but i'm not i'm reflecting it around this actually made it a bit bigger which i didn't mean to so golden rule in fact i'll write it down golden rule always turn oops turn your triangle into standard form I do that now and I've been doing trigonometry for 40 years so if somebody gives me a triangle that looks like one of those like that I'll say to myself not standard form I'll just flip it over in my head, if nothing else, and turn it around and do that. So if somebody gives me a, a, a textbook a question like that and wants me to work out one of the angles or something like that, straight away, in fact, you, if it's written down on a piece of paper, you can just turn the piece of paper around, okay? So what we're going to do is I'm going to go through a whole bunch of things, sines and cosines and angles and all this stuff, all with triangles in standard format. So... Your golden rule, always turn your triangle, your right angle triangle at least, right angled triangle into standard form. Then you can do your thinking on the standard form triangle get your answers and then rotate it back to the original form like that if you want to and it makes everything a whole bunch easy because you don't need to remember where the where the right angle is and which sides which and which is the opposite and which is you don't need to remember any of that because you always 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 deal with triangles in standard form as I say I've been doing trigonometry for 40 years now and I do it I get the triangle turn it around either by actually turning the bit of paper or just like imagining I'm doing it and uh, and solve the problem in standard format. So that's how to do trigonometry. Once you can do that, everything else is easy, seriously. Okay, I'm finished.